What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Muscle, and this is another Two Line Music Cuts Entertainment Report podcast. And tonight, we have a real Scarborough legend in the building tonight. I'm talking about this song was one of the baddest songs from the 90s till now. Listen, you know who we have in the building today? We have DJ Ronsi from the Heavyweight Crew in the building tonight. What's going on, Big Boss? What's going on? You good? I'm great. Yourself? I'm just, you know, in the quarantine, just chilling, mm -hmm. you know. Unfortunately for me, I still work, so I'm good to go. Yeah, for sure, because uh, right now a lot of people aren't working and a lot of crazy stuff is going on around us, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's why we even have to do the interview like this, because the funny thing with it, we're basically in the same city, but we right. can't get together because of all the quarantine and all that. Exactly, because I'm not getting a ticket for that, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that serious. All right, let's get into the beginning of your career now. As a DJ, what actually made you start DJing in the first place? How long ago was this? So, 87. 87? 87. Yeah. My dad, because my dad was, because uh, I'm from Montserrat, a little island off of Antigua. Okay. And, and he was strictly, they used to have parties in this basement, soca parties. Mm -hmm. So, I basically would sit there and just listen. I was a young guy, like, I couldn't do nothing. I was just listening to this pure soca, because I could. Yeah. My heart is is soca, but I just I can't get into soca. Like, yeah. I just I can't do it. I can't. <laughs> I can't do it. Even though I have a lot of like my uncle's arrow. Yeah, he passed away about five years ago. What? So yeah, that's my uncle, arrow. Hot, hot, hot. Long time. Yeah. That's my uncle. That's my dad's brother. I get out of here. Yeah. So, Kier Banner was always busy. He was always yeah. up there, and I have pictures with him and all that. It's just. I couldn't. I couldn't get into the soca. Yeah, I just I couldn't do it. But I yeah. know every single soca song from back in the day. Every artist, every Penguin, Sparrow, mm -hmm. Arrow, all oh, Super Blue, all the, Yeah, I know. I know them all. Mm -hmm. I just I couldn't. I couldn't get into it. Got you. So then, when you actually started playing music, what type of music were you playing when you first started? That was was more because I went to O'Connor, so I was playing new wave, like. Uh, 80s stuff like Banana Rama, New Order, Depeche Mode. I used to do my school dances. Okay. So we, we had a crew back then. What were we called back then? Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know. I don't even know what we were called. But it was like a Gino crew kind of thing. And I was like the, the black guy in the Gino crew. <laughs> the black so, Italian. Yeah. So they were doing their skinny puppy and their Depeche Mode mixes and all that. And I'm like, these guys are garbage. So I branched off of them and I formed another sound. Twilight. That was me and my friend Alan 007, an Asian guy. Okay. And he was, them, those are the areas of house music. Yes. Everything was house music. You couldn't go to a club without hearing house music. For sure. Our, our big man today that we know house music. <laughs> Bell foot bottom, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So then we had a sound. We used to do basin parties in, in Milliken. And then everybody wanted to hear reggae, reggae, reggae. And at that time, I wasn't into the reggae either. Okay. What, what got me into the reggae is. One Caravana, mm -hmm. we went we went downtown. I think this is when I think it was uni is it still uni yeah university, mm -hmm. and we set up on the bottom, at the bottom of the thing, and we had about sixty four speakers. I don't even know how or who brought them for us. We had <laughs> a wall of speakers, Caravana, yeah, and we had over a thousand people there, jamming, yeah, yeah. and we were selling liquor like crazy. We had to keep running back and forth, back and forth. To this day, that's all I do at Care Banner Summit. Yeah. <laughs> that's all I do. Yeah. And, and from them, that, that's when basically heavyweight came because there was so much speakers. The space yeah. was heavy. So the oh, it's all, it's all heavy. She said, fuck it. It's called heavyweight. Okay. So at this time here, you had left Twilight. Our Twilight was just. Well, Twilight, I, every sound I basically, the only sound I, I wasn't the main guy yeah. was the Gino one. That was high school, but it's, it's high school. It was like 84, yeah. 85. Yeah. But every sound I was on, it was basically me who started it. Like Twilight, I started. Heavyweight was basically a group starting, but I was like, I was a selector. So I was the the main, I was the guy, the main guy in the front line. Yeah. Basically. And what year did Heavyweight start? In real life, I'm going to say 88, 89. 89. 88, 89. 88, 89. Yeah. I didn't know that because me personally, where I came across Heavyweight first was. I think it was in Gundower one week, and I swear it seemed like the next week you yeah. guys were somewhere else, and you guys were completely gone from there. Yeah, yeah. 
I remember that. I remember. I know. I remember our first dubs were cut in I think ninety one. Well, maybe okay. no, maybe ninety. Well, we got well Frost Paul Soul Survivor. Yeah, he cut our first dumplings. Pat on Tony. He cut. Yeah. Them. Okay. He cut them. Yeah. So after that, I have a friend that lives in Colgate, Jamaica. Mm -hmm. So me and Mikey Million went to Jamaica. So that was my basically my first trip to Jamaica. Yeah. And, we, and <laughs> was in Ocean Rio. So at that time, Roof Roof Studios was there. Yes. So we got, I don't even know how much money we had. We didn't have much because back then, <laughs> a thousand bucks would get you like six bunches. What? Then. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, no, I'm joking. But yeah. I'm just saying, back mm -hmm. then, so we went to Roof and I'm seeing all these artists because if you've ever been to Roof Studios or Arrows, if you go to Arrows, you go through a laneway and then you go to the studio and it's pure artists that, yo, yo, beg that to and it's not sing to you, the DJ to you, and you don't even know, you don't know who they are. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. you either have to walk with you either have to go. I'm going with I'm walking in with Beanie Man, so don't talk to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? I might give you an intro, but if I don't know you, I'm not gonna because I your mindset is what you're gonna cut. Mm -hmm. But at Roof, because I was new to the business in cutting dumplings, because the first dumpling I ever heard was Kilimanjaro Ninja Man Dead Blood Clad, and I couldn't okay. understand. I couldn't understand why they kept pulling it back. Yeah. I'm thinking my cassette is broken. Because <laughs> I kept pulling it back, pulling it back. I still, yeah. I still, I still have the, I have the cassette still. I found yeah. it on YouTube. Yeah. And I, and I, then I realized those are dub plates. I said, "Fuck, I'm gonna, I want my name called and some stuff." Yeah. I see. So then after you realize, like, hey, this is uh something that I could actually buy. I yeah. guess the next move to figure out where could I actually get this thing to buy. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. And who were the original members on Heavyweight at that time there? Oh, boy. There's a long list. Okay. The original is, I'm going to say me, yeah. Killa. You know Killa, Jason. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Raphael, Riefel, mm -hmm. Gary, mm -hmm. Ringo, Frost, mm -hmm. uh, Mikey Million. Jeez. Mm -hmm. uh, you know when you have a sound, everybody want to be in the sound. And yeah. They might lift one record and they're in the sound. So, bit zero, R Richie B. Oh my God, there's so much. Okay. A lot of Dower man, them, a lot of Bay mm -hmm. Mills man, them. Because you know, Dower, you Dower, because yeah. that's why I buck you up, eradication. Of course. <laughs> so, so we, we were the thing. And then Jason and them usually lived, they lived in the town of Markham or Milliken. Because mm -hmm. when you say Markham, they think Markham and Eglinton, but yeah. Markham is town of Milliken. Yeah. So basically, we were just doing, we were in my basement DJing and playing music. And then Lone Star called me. I didn't even out of the blue. Yeah. Sweetness, God rest his soul. Mm -hmm. And he was doing a, a during the week, it was like March break or I don't know, summer March break. And he was having a party at his house. Yeah. <laughs> so at that, that time, I already, I had come back with those. So all I had was roof Okay. Dubs. So you had gone, so this is you gone to Jamaica. This song yeah. hasn't really bust not, yet, per not, se. Not, Nothing. We yeah. were, I was going to Barry Culture and Stereo Choice. That's who was yeah. running the East back then. Oh, Barry Culture and Stereo Choice. Yeah, because Stereo this, is, this is like 1990, yeah. 91, 92. Uh, that was the era. To us, that was a big song. Yeah, for sure. Like, I'm talking, when I say Barry Culture, I don't mean with Moose. I mean with, with Barry himself. <laughs> with, I know, with Tika. Yeah, okay. Tika Russ. Yeah. That is how I know Barry Culture. Yeah. So, and then DC, Dion, and I'm, and I'm, Cruiser. Cruiser, uh-huh. So then, though, and then when I heard their dub plates, I'm like, oh, my God. Like, DC, yeah. Star Trek has a Shabba dub plate. I still can't. Still in my head. I, like, I hear yeah. it yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyways, we went to the dance, and Lone Star was ripping up the place, and it was all, like, Lone Star people. It's like, back then, it's kids. Yeah. So then I come out and play now. And, and when I, if you ask anybody, when I play, I'm not, I'm never nervous. Yeah. I have the mentality, I'm killing everything in here. Like, I, as Andrew said in his interview, yeah, we were, a, we were a bully song. Yeah. I was, I, I was the bully. <laughs> I, I, I have the mentality: you have to play the best that you can be. You don't let nobody play outplay. That's just, that's, that's just the way I am. Mm -hmm. There's only one DJ I can say that I get intimidated by, and that's Scratch. But that's a whole different yeah. topic. Anyway, so yeah. we're playing it, and and that time, the only thing I was like, do I want to play dub? Because that time I had Pure Jigsy King, Pure Tony Curtis, because that's mm -hmm. who was at. Ochi, and they didn't bust yet. Okay, they, so I have a lot of them. That yeah. I have songs from them. They're just singing over Sanchez songs. Okay, so, so they haven't really yeah. busted. So yeah, 
Then I heard Stone Love play a song, Rush Them. Yes. And that, that time, it was running the whole island, Rush Them. And nobody, yeah. could cut, nobody could get it. Okay. Because it was in Ochi. So yeah. Stone Love's in Kingston. And, yeah. and nobody asked to nobody that back then. Nobody <laughs> asked to nobody the Ochi <laughs> thing. Because there's no highway back then. Yeah, no. So when I realized it was Shaggy Wonder, and I know Shaggy's Ochi, he's always there too. Every day, he's there. He's giving me all these other songs. Except like I have for a, the Rush Them. I have a whole bunch of Shaggy Wonder. Okay. And the last day, yeah. I go, I went to Stone Love Dance, and I'm hearing this Rush Them, and I pull about 20 times. Mm-hmm. Rush them, stole them, rush them. Now I'm going. Mm-hmm. Yo, I want this. Yeah. I want to rush them. Go, no, I can't mm-hmm. give you that, Rachel. No, I give you that. I go, come on, man, give me the rush them. That's yeah. how I, I had no money. <laughs> my money, run, my money, run out. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what I gave him. I watch or something. I don't know what I gave mm-hmm. him. But he finally cut us to rush them. Mm-hmm. And you know that song from that song, Class Scarborough. Mm-hmm. That was it. And I played so- that. Go ahead. Go ahead. So that was a song, we'll say that was a song that really bust heavyweight. That, 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 that opened the door, and that was the end of it. Yeah. That was like King Turbo's um, mega mix. Yeah. But you can't, I'm not comparing that to it because nobody can mm-hmm. compete to their, their mega mixes. But yeah. That rushed them when when, yeah. the, when you even hear the intro, while I brick, furnace yeah. I dropped. And just, we couldn't even play that in the basement parties anymore. Mm-hmm. We couldn't that's play. how crazy it was. Yeah, and the same Shaggy Wonder, that's not who Shaggy is now. That's a completely different artist. With Shaggy Wonder, there is only one Shaggy Wonder. How many Shaggy Wonders in the No, 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 not well. Shaggy and Shaggy Wonder are they the oh, same that, person? Oh, no, or two no. different people? oh, no, that's two different people. Yeah, that's two different people. Shaggy, yeah. Shaggy. Yeah, I wish I had shaggy a Shaggy Wonder. Yeah, <laughs> 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 yeah, for shaggy. yeah, yeah. So, Shaggy Wonder is what really opened the door. So, I guess from you yes. got to the Lone Star dance, you guys played the Shaggy, the Shaggy yep. Wonder there. Yep, and no, that's it, where everything started to open from it. Was, it was over, that was yeah. it. I got yeah. about 10 calls that same night from promoters that I didn't even know about. Yeah. Al Barry Culture called me. Yeah, okay. And I'm like, what's going on right now? Yeah. So now 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 we're now we have to now we have to cut more dubs. Yeah. So and that was it. Like I used to go to dances here, King Turbo play. I've I Barry Culture play, Stereo Choice. Even you guys in Dower, like one mm-hmm. dance I went in Dower and Echo being all the manner DJing on one turntable. Yeah. And all this is like I'm taking all this. This is how I'm getting to learn the business. For sure. Because I was soca for most of my, my thing. Yeah. And then I, I took over my dad's basement as the mm-hmm. DJ room. You've seen it. Of course. I, would, I took over as reggae. So the man would come there and DJ and make yeah. cassette, make video. And that's when Paul said he made a CD, uh, a cassette. It was at my house. He made it was at your house. Got yes. You. Mm-hmm. Yes. So from then, more people come than we had a we had a Carla Marshall came on board because Jason's baby mother was her sister. God, you okay? Because I never really understood that connection with Carla yeah, and yeah. Carla Marshall. I never yeah. understood that connection. That's that's Jason's baby mother's sister. Yes. So that's how Carla Marshall got into the fold. Yeah. And then she was going back and forth to Jamaica, and she knew the artist then. So like the Bunties and the Wayne Wonders and the Junior Reeds and all them, them yeah. artists. That I can't reach out to. Yeah, she reached out to them. Crazy. Yep. And that's where everything really started to kick yeah, off. You guys yeah, from there. That's when we got more anthems, like the 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 little John anthem, the yeah. the, the the Ricky General Gun in a Barrel, all mm-hmm. that to this day. Moose yeah. say, "Don't ever play that again." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the amount of shots licked that when I played that one time, he said, "Don't ever play that song again." Pure. Yeah. Because it's basically telling people to let off their guns and I just, yeah, it's just it was time and then it was just then it was me and terrible neck and neck to the point where we decided why am I gonna play here and you're gonna yeah. play there? Yeah, let's play together. When but, okay, so, I need we're gonna build up this story. Uh, here I, know, I, 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 I know, I know, I know, I know where you're going. I already know where you're going. It's all right. I'm waiting. I, I'm prepared for this. <laughs> listen, we can't listen, Ron. You know, listen. I would That's know. one of the most I've heard three sides, three sides ever. I know. I know. <laughs> Let's build it up here. So then now, when did you actually start to play with King Turbo? Oh, jeez. Fuck. You see how I have oh, for a year? Mm-hmm. Probably 92. 92 is when... Better. Because they were basically just as new as you were. They had probably one or two years they had bust before you 
about yeah. two years before heavyweight came onto the scene. Yeah, because they had um they had Malvern and them time Malvern was a big, big, big because they come from West Hill and they had the mm -hmm. whole Malvern was mm -hmm. King Turbo people and then they had the, the special guest crew and they had all the right people in the right places. Mm -hmm. You understand? And then they had yeah. Hillies because Hillies is basically King Turbo. Yeah. And and back in the day, you didn't care how small or big the place was. Yeah. You needed somewhere to go. Yeah. And it, and it was Hillies. Yeah. If it was like five sixty on Monday night or Tropics on Thursday night, it was Hillies. Yeah. So that's where the Hillies went. Okay. So and, uh, go ahead, go ahead. Do you remember the first night that you and King Turbo actually played when you guys were just about on your eyes? It's, it's, it definitely had to be a it had to be a house party. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it was in Malvern or town of Markham, but them times 80% Markham, 20% anywhere else, basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> McCowan and Steels, McCowan, McCowan and, and Dennison, you know, and Crop, yeah. Mary Pearson, Little Leaf, oh, Little Leaf, um, Malvern. Yeah, Malvern. Mm -hmm. Every house, any black person that lived in Milligan had mm -hmm. a house party. Yeah. Because the basement wasn't finished. Uh huh. You you understand. The only oh, yeah. thing was the furnace was there, and then by the time the party was done, the furnace was torn off. Yeah, well, look, well, the, the, they, the owners got smart. They greased it. Yeah. So that, <laughs> because when you put grease on that hand, that can't come off. Yeah. You, you, can't, you, you can't even talk to a girl with grease on your hand. No. <laughs> <it's>, no. <laughs> so, they warned you. They had a sign down the stairs. There's grease yeah. on the furnace, and you can yeah. see the grease. Just Crazy. Crazy, crazy. All right, yeah. so then let's build this up now. Build up the rivalry between King Turbo and Heavyweight. How did that even start before you guys even got to the clash in the first place? Well, it's it's see, well, well, Muscle, you know me. Yeah. I don't hate anybody. Yeah, I don't. I, I even DJs that hate me, I don't care. I love uh -huh. them because hate is a really strong word. I don't hate anybody. Mm -hmm. So basically, there was no rivalry with King Turbo. Was this? At that time, Ron Nelson was doing his Sound Clash series yeah. clashes, and Red Flame and King Turbo basically started that. Yes. Not them started, but Ron Nelson, that was their first Red Flame King Turbo. Because at okay. that time, Red Flame came up. Yeah. So at that time, we were on Red Flame side. We were on Red Flame corner. I just, <laughs> because we, we have to think. Yeah. Because in my head, this is how I'm thinking. In my head, mm -hmm. I have dubs to kill mm -hmm. Turbo. But I thought Spider had better dubs to kill Turbo. So right, I'm yeah. siding with a sound that I'm, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I was I was neutral, but I was on the right side. You yeah. understand what I mean? Yeah. So after that clash, up to this day, up to this day, it got anybody in Scrabble. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows who won the clash. King Turbo said they won. Yeah. Red, Red Flame said they won. That was the one you're talking in 91 clash. There, 91. Right? They're up a paper damp paper, order. Yeah. Somewhere up there, I don't know where that one. I think it was it really the streets gave it to Turbo King Turbo, yeah, because they played the counteraction at that time there for yeah. the the fuck you or something that was a counteraction yeah, yeah. that they had, yeah, and yeah, then yeah, they, yeah. they gave it. I don't think there was no official trophy and all of this, no, there was none of that. yeah, they had given it to them there, okay. So then now you guys, you knew that you guys were gonna have to meet Turbo. Somewhere, eventually. yeah, but see, back then, Clash wasn't even in our is just juggling every week. That's all you wanted to do, yeah. Find a play because we all had hotlines, turbo had a hotline, Barry Carter had a hotline, we had a hotline. Yeah. You had a hotline, oh, oh yeah, I had a hotline, man. I still know the number I've heard. I didn't six, remember that 618, blah 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 blah. blah. I still don't remember <laughs> because them time you don't want to spend money on flyer and it's people's mm -hmm. house, you don't want the police to see it, yeah. So, call the hotline, yeah. And more time enough, if King Turbo was playing at a house party, we were playing with them. Got you understand? Mm -hmm. Or vice versa. It's a heavyweight dance. For, uh, I'm not then, then Spraga would do dances in Oshawa. We'd mm -hmm. go to Simcoe, and he'd bring all five of us up there. Like there was Barry Coulter, mm -hmm. us, Turbo, Soul Action, mm -hmm. and Red Flame. Yeah. So they'd bring basically the majority of the East End people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we'd all drive out there to us. It's like driving to Montreal. Yeah, that's what back, it felt like those times. Back, back then, jeez. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So <laughs> the rivalry, it's never, I can't even say it was a rivalry because it's just, we're just, we were both running the East. Yeah. They would have their big dance like at Macau and the Steels in the barn. Mm -hmm. We'd be there supporting them. We'd be there, hail up, pull up, pull up. And then we'd have our dance at a, at a mm -hmm. house party. And there was no real, 
yo, the hair turn, you know, man, can't wait for catch them, you know. Okay, so it wasn't based on like a rivalry per, no, per no, se, no, no, but it was no. like, okay, you know what, we're all here, so we have to battle this out sometime or another. Yeah, basically, that's what it was. We had to battle it out, yeah. and whoever won, break mm -hmm. or make. And right. you know how it went because yeah. I know to this day mm -hmm. that was the hardest class they had to prepare for. Okay. And they, they could deny it to their blue in the face because they told me point blank the clash with you was the hardest one to prepare for because one, it was in Dower. And yes. we're yes, we're, it's in Dower. Yeah. Canadian fish, that's Dower. That's that's heavyweight country. Yeah. <laughs> you understand? So yeah. they knew they knew they were up up against, and they knew I went to Jamaica the week before. They knew that. Yeah. But I was in Jamaica the week before the clash. Mm -hmm. So basically, Ron called us, called us, yo, you two guys are running to this place. Let's just clash. Mm -hmm. And to them, thousand dollars was the fucking thousand bucks, yeah. But okay, then, that that's what they were saying. Okay, for a clash, here's a thousand bucks because you weren't making. You're probably making a hundred fifty a night. If well, you're lucky, if you're money. lucky, and a case of beer. Back then, yeah. if you're lucky, all of everybody had jobs, but yeah. back then, money I run. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you do a hustle here and hustle there, money's running. There's no mm -hmm. what's going mm -hmm. on right now. Yeah. So we finally did the clash. Look at the contract. I'm not gonna get into the contract because people are gonna say I'm bad mind or I'm no, no. I'm still harboring it, but yeah. certain yeah. things in the contract did not happen when I walked into the venue. Let's talk uh, about this then. Hold on. When you say uh, when you hold on, we're talking uh, run. Okay, let me ask you something. <laughs> what year was this clash run? 94. 94. This is 26 it. years ago. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And I, it's not bothering me, is this certain things were said. At Ron Nelson's house, yeah, that could not happen mm -hmm. at the clash. Like what? What was supposed to happen? Right? I'll give you an example. Okay. No, D, no DJ can set up in front of the stage. Okay. You yeah. figure it out. Who was in front? Of, <laughs> who was in front of the stage? Yeah. Who was in okay. front of the stage? They they were. King Turbo was in front of the so stage. We're in the I corner, remember. We're in the corner like Roach. Yeah. You understand? But when mm -hmm. we got there, they already set up, and oh, we can't move it now. Everything's set up. Yeah. No no cordless mics. Yeah. I walk in and Ricky's in the bathroom on his cordless mic. Yeah. <laughs> audio check, audio check. One, two, three. I'm going. Yeah. That's two strikes. Yeah. So right there, right there in my mind, I'm done. I'm not, but I, I'm not giving it back his grant. Yeah. I don't spend it off arena Jamaica. Yeah. <laughs> you bought the dubs. And I saw I saw the contract. I go yeah. I, right right there. I knew yeah. there was a set. I felt yeah. I was being set up. Mm, okay. Who's the who who's the host? Yeah. Who was who the host? Was the, I don't remember that. I can't. I, I'll tell you who the host was. Who was Cap the host? Captain Midnight. Yes. And who was Midnight friends with? <laughs> he had a storm with them. I I see. Don't, I don't got get it. Don't get it twisted. I love yeah. Andrew. I love Spex. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love. I even love Ricky. Yeah. I love all the terrible suspense. Mm -hmm. The whole yeah. King Turbo crew. I, I'm just. These are things I'm not saying I've had this in my body for yeah. years. I'm, no, no, no. I We're having a conversation. I don't want Ron Nelson to go on there and reboot. I go, these are things I don't care. Mm -hmm. I'm friends with Ron Nelson too. I've been to his house. Mm -hmm. We're all good. But these are the little things that I saw that night yeah. that didn't make sense to me. Mm -hmm. Because at that time, if we had beat King Turbo that night, what would happen? I don't know. Got you. I don't know. So let me ask you this then. So why did you guys say no cordless mics and the I, song is supposed to be set I, up in a certain I, I, place? I never said that. That yeah. was in the contract. Okay. That yep. was I was from Mona said that. Yeah. Fabo and Ron said no setup in front of the stage. Yeah. No cordless mics. Mm -hmm. That's part of the deal. Yeah. You got to be in one corner. We have to be in one corner. Yeah. I walked in. They're in front of the stage. That's an advantage right away. Right away, you're in front of the stage. Yeah. So that means you're the top of top. Yeah, you're focal. That's where everybody's looking. The whole focal point is right there. And if you're even if you're a heavyweight pan and you stand mm -hmm. up in there, it was so packed. You know, packed it was. Yeah. Of course, we were. You're in the middle. If you're in the middle of a dance, and you're you're a turbo fan. Yeah. You understand? So it's a disadvantage. Yeah. Okay, so even, even, even right that, even, hold on, stop. <laughs> even that, there was issues with my mic man, Matthew, because he. In his mind, it was a juggling dance, and he got enough because him and Midnight had something back in the day because he was on Turbo Charge, I think. A yeah, sound okay. yeah. So him and, him and Super Saiyan had issues. Yeah. So it was kind of back and forth about nothing to do with me and King Turbo. 
Yeah. So that kind of hurt us too. I'm not gonna bring up the gas mask and, yeah. and well, uh, you're, you're going too you're going too fast, Bob. No, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get out of this. I'm trying to get out of this topic. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> no, bro. Listen, <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen. This is something okay. Listen, why this topic has to be discussed. This is one of the most talked about Canadian caches in the history of Canada. You hear me? In the history. Yeah. There's the Turbo Heavyweight. There's a Turbo Super Fresh. There's a Soul to Soul Digital. There's also, I think, the Red Turbo. Flame Black Supreme. It's Those Turbo. are all. Hmm? Turbo, Turbo Reaction. Yes, yes. Those are like the five pivotal clashes in the Canadian history. So we can't just run through this. We talk, Ron, we're talking about this, bro. Even a, even a setup class, Turbo and David Rodigan. Yes, and it was that was when they started to play tune for tune, like a couple of no, songs at the end, then went away. That's when they called them out. Yeah, so right again, you guys come up here, yes. and, and, yes. and, and, and push yes. up Yeah, it was zone one or somewhere in the west, I guess. Even the tag, even a tag team clash with yes. Mighty Crown and Base Ad, as Mighty Crown mm -hmm. and Addies mm -hmm. with Turbo, and uh, I think it was Junior D used to play the sound. I forget, yes, so. studio yeah. mix. That's it. Let's get back to this night here, okay? <laughs> Ron, Ron, I know you for a long time. Bro. Yeah, and you're, I, I, you're not you're I, not getting away from this one uh, at all, bro. I'm gonna take quarantine. I'm gonna take quarantine if you for call me. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, not at all. Ultra, time, ultra. time and place, and I told you, I'm calling. Ultra, We're ultra, calling. Ultra, I'm calling. Ultra. I know. Let's talk about this. When you got to the when you got to the dance, when did you actually get to? Were you there from the songs we're stringing up? When you got there after everything was set up. Come on, you know me already. What I'm 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 the first ask any any promoter. Mm -hmm. I'm there three hours yeah. before the dance started. Yeah. So I walk in there around seven at six o'clock, six thirty, seven o'clock. I live down the street. Yeah. So I gotta make sure our system is getting set up nice and mm -hmm. I wanna see this how terrible setting up. At yeah. that time they rented from GQ. Okay. George. Yeah. Supreme GQ Supreme mm -hmm. back then. Yeah. And they had a fucking it's just it's like a concert. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I walk in, I just of course the promoters aren't there because it's too mm -hmm. early. Yeah. And I'm like, and I'm not the guy to call and say, yo, yo, well, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not mm -hmm. gonna say nothing to them because mm -hmm. right now I'm in war mode. So now I'm even angrier. Yeah. yeah. Because they were there when they said this can't happen. Mm -hmm. They were right there. Yeah. Because we signed a contract <laughs> together. Yeah. Why are you guys set up here? Oh, we weren't here when it was set up. Yeah. Well, move it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't care. Do. Yeah. Just move it. Yeah. I wasn't even care about the quarters, Mike. Just them being center stage. Yeah. I knew I something. My gut. You know when you have your gut feeling, like uh, mm -hmm. something, something my gut, some something wrong with right so. So you say they had GQ. What song were you guys actually using that night? Oh my god. Oh my god. I just had. Uh, not killer. What the next one? Chic yeah. Dynasty. Shit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. At that because, time, we didn't, we didn't have no sound. Only Barry had a sound. Yeah. He was the only, especially from the East, because when it yeah. came to the new, and Soul Action did too, <clears throat> when it came to the East songs, the new crop, there were King Turbo, Red Flame, or Heavyweight. You guys were running the East, but you guys didn't have a sound system yeah. per se at that time there. You guys were straight records. That's why you guys were getting because, a lot of fights yeah, from the because, bigger songs. Because our next... Having a sound, I mean, six more men on your sound. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so then you went in. So then let's go from, um, say, first round. You remember what your first round was like? Yeah. It was all, played all, the, all the top things. Remember, you have to understand one thing. Mm -hmm. Everybody said we got locked off. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll live with that. Okay. But we went tune for tune. You guys did go tune for tune. Yeah. Let's we're, run. We're gone we're too fast. Tune. Let's let's go oh. first round. We're we're first telling round, the story, boss. Okay, first round. I already know what I, I. I tell you what I played. First song was the Natural Mystic. Yeah, the, the dub murder, rem the dub, the, dub rem rem the Stone Love yeah. one, the murder. Mm -hmm. Then I played the General B Pepper C. Then I did the Pepper C dubs. Yeah. Then I played the Frog dubs, the 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 mm -hmm. the, the Baby Wayne them. Yeah. Then I played um like I didn't play any forty fives. Then okay. I just I just juggled because it was first. 25 30 minutes because back then I don't know it was no hour hour which it should have been. Yeah. yeah, it was like half hour, half hour. Because okay. I know it was the church, they probably had a curfew. Yeah. So that was our first round because we went first. Mm -hmm. There I didn't even remember. See, I'm I just remember 
There's only one tune I remember came to my play. It was a stitchy because that's planted in my head. That's that, fucking, <laughs> that fucking that fucking stitchy boy. Jesus Christ. What You're I, talking I, the one that's on the, the same rhythm with the Luciano. Yes. Yeah. When I look up and I see pure fucking hands in the air from the stitchy guy. <laughs> I, 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 and I, and I, I'm so stubborn. At that time, I'm going, play Rush there, play your anthem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm going, it's been played out. I didn't yeah. want to play it. It's played out. Yeah. And that's my fault. I should have played it in, but then they, they then they played something they shouldn't have played. They, they okay. got booed, 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 booed. Or okay. Ron, Ron Nelson horse race custom. Yes, yes, I remember that wonder. Yes, a lot of people forget about that though. Yeah. I, I, I don't. <laughs> forget that. They played a Ron Nelson custom. Yeah, with some horse race about King Turtle Ron Furlong and anyway, it got booed. Boo, yeah. Pierre Bouze got. Because yeah. everybody's like, what the fuck is this shit? Because it was Ron Nelson. Because at that time, mm -hmm. fuck Ron Nelson. That's how people thought. Yeah. Because, but he was yeah. still he was still crossing over. Well, he had crossed over from hip hop yeah, to reggae. Over. But that time he was still, he wasn't Ron as we know him today. Yeah. Back he was, then. He was you more of Jam and Fantastic Voyage. Because yeah. it, it was him and Fable. But he, he mm -hmm. was getting into, and that was yeah. Terrible's people. He did yeah. the, where they do the remix. Mm -hmm. The remix was done at Turbo at Ron Nelson. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. So then you said first round, you got into the first round. Who had a better first round? Would you say you or King Turbo had a better first round? Or you don't yeah, remember? I just don't remember. I just know we played all the top of top. Got that top pepper seed I run the place. Yeah. And I cut all the pepper seeds that were on 45, like the Frisco kid. I did them in Sound Clash Down, the Louis Culture, the yeah. Dogsy Rank. And I okay. did them in. I didn't, and then I played the, 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 the every way you been true ears and all, all of the top of top songs in the Capleton on them, the Bunty. We had a Bunty at that time too. Mm -hmm. All the top of tops, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna say, I can't, I can't even say that because I don't remember what they played on the first round. Okay, you should, you should have asked Andrew because I'm sure yeah. he, he might remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Okay. I remember my first round because I still yeah. have the dubs. Because when you're playing your dubs, you I remember this because yeah. some of the dubs I have were made for that clash. Got you. Like the general B, you'll never hear it played again. It doesn't call their name, it's just can't stop you from winning this clash. I'm about in a clash, I'll never play it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So at that time that song was big back then. So mm -hmm. that's why I played it. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the first I don't even know how many rounds it went. All I know it was mm -hmm. tune for tune. Okay, so I let's talk, tune. let's talk about this tune for tune then. That's okay? why I went okay, go ahead. Let's talk about the tune for tune. Do you remember how many songs were in the tune for tune? See, back then I didn't even know. I I remember. I know four. I know five songs I played in the tune for tune. Okay, not even five or four. Mm -hmm. I played my because they were they were saying I'm not from Jamaica. I'm from Montserrat, mm -hmm. Smile yeah. and Boy, and mm -hmm. I counteracted that talk and I played Michael Spinners. Yeah. Ole ole, every week mash them up, mash them up. <laughs> yes, that, yes, yes. That was our that was our <laughs> biggest score. Yeah. Okay. It was a soca song, technically. Yeah, yeah. And it shut them up. Mm -hmm. So, and then I played that tune, and they played a tune. So, yeah. we're obviously in tune for tune. Mm -hmm. So, how am I getting locked off if we're playing tune for tune? Yeah. Somebody explain it to me. Yeah. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear. Oh, I might not have cassette. I go play the cassette. Yeah. Play the cassette from beginning to end. Yeah. The last tune I played was the Beanie Man custom. Oh, so you had a custom back then for for. Yeah. How much custom I have with King Turbo name in it? Stop this. You crazy? And this was for the class? You cut all these for the class. I cut the Beanie Man in Jamaica before we came back. Yeah. Press, press button. Yeah. It's cause her name. Yeah. That was the last tune I played. But our time was too late because the Stitchy done crippled us. And okay. match and match your fight with for fucking midnight. Okay, so you had a couple things going against you guys that night there, why you couldn't really seal the deal. Yeah, because man. remember, this is in your backyard, boss. Yeah, because the the when the girls came in the gas mask, it just gave yeah. them ammunition. Yeah, this gave them something because they were frightened about everything. Yeah, trust me, yeah. everything. <laughs> and when they came in with gas masks, it yeah. just oh. Uh, why would Did you guys think that was a smart idea at first? I never it's told you that. that. You think I would let them come in there with gas masks? Yeah, I come on our side. Come on now. Yeah. I was Carla Marshall or crew, you know. That's who yeah. it was. Because even Andrew said it was Carla Marshall. Yeah. And I go, why would you come in here with gas mask? Mm -hmm. 
Come in with sparkles or something. Something yeah. to, you know, <laughs> to me, you're coming to glass fest. You, 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 uh, I, I didn't, all these things were against me to the point where I took over the mic. Because you're my fight with midnight about fucking back in country where we had a class. I go, what are you doing? Yeah. I said, fuck it. Took off the mic. And then time, most of them were on stage because they were the special guest. Okay. And they're like, go on, Ron, play our next song. Mm -hmm. But there was the stitchy crippled us. It was done. It was over. And when you say the stitchy was in the, that was tune for tune. That was probably like third, fourth, fifth tune or what? Yeah, that was the third or fourth tune. That yeah. sealed the, that seal the deal. It was the a stitchy. stitchy. Yeah. yeah, because the, yeah. the harder the heart helped us. Because I played a John Holt in a tune yeah. for tune. I played a D mm -hmm. Brown in a tune for tune. Yeah. And the only reason why I played that hard on hard is because they were, oh, you're from Muntzrat, Smile, and boy, blah, yeah. blah, blah. And in my head, the whole time, I'm thinking about Babyface from Addis. Yeah. Because he's from Trinidad. So, yeah. How did he counteract that talk? God, that's why yeah. I cut. That's why I cut. I wish it was my uncle. Yeah, because I would have been a bigger for it. But that it worked at the time because them time bam bam rhythm was, oh late. You know what I mean? So it yeah. worked perfectly. So mm -hmm. that was our biggest forward. The stitchy, Jesus yeah. Christ. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where he said once I dropped, not, not, not even the garnets them. Yeah. The stitchy. Yeah. That's what. Yeah, I, to me, I like, you know, I look at Jason, I go, Lord, glad. We can't come back from a stitchy. Even Russian couldn't come back yeah. from that. Because nobody's, you know nobody's heard it. God. Oh, so that was their first, first night, time. I see. Yes. I see. Now, that's that, I, I didn't realize. That's the first yeah. time anybody's ever heard it. So if I play Russian, oh, we yeah. are. Just, uh, and I, I didn't have a tune to counteract yeah. the stitchy because I'm thinking mm -hmm. the hard hot. Crippled yeah. them too. Yeah, I see them in their box off. Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you weren't expecting the um thing there. You no. had no idea about no. the stitch. No, because at that time we had more dubs than them. Oh yeah, I, I just said that. At that time we had we had Junior Reed, we yes. had Anti Killer, we had yeah. Major Macro, Mega mm -hmm. Banta, Bushu mm -hmm. Banta. We have Wayne Wonder, mm -hmm. Tony Curtis, Jixi King. We had, we had John Holt, Sugar yeah. Miner. Uh, I, Delroy Wilson, all them, we had all them. Yeah. And Turbo didn't, Turbo, like, they had Mega Mix. Yeah. They had the, they had the three Mega Mix. Mm -hmm. I personally like the first Mega Mix they did on the Ponati yeah. room, but they never yeah. played anymore. Yeah. But I didn't expect them to find a Stitchy. Because those are artists you don't think about back then. Yeah. You don't think about Stitchy. No, you're thinking about the bounties, the, yeah. the Pordros, as you said, the Jigsy Kings. The no, not just getting bust that as big that. The okay. Car, Arbor was big. Yeah. Ninja Man. I had Ninja Man too, but they had a ninja. Mm -hmm. I played a Ninja Man in the two for doing. They yeah. had a Ninja Man. Because I knew they knew I had a ninja. So they cut the ninja. Yeah. They weren't they weren't very good. Both are ninjas. Their ninjas yeah. suck are good. Yeah. <laughs> we have a ninja. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, know, you know, those fillers. Mm -hmm. So basically, I, I still can't people say, ah, oh, hey, we got lock off, lock. I go, is it tune for tune? Yeah. Lock off means I don't go to tune for tune. But you in, got actually down for two for two. And how many rounds did you guys win a post oh, to King Turbo in it? Oh, see, this is good talk. I'm I'm old. I'm not yeah. my memory, I, it's kind of blacklisted in my head. Because oh, it wasn't I, thing there. at that time there, they weren't actually judging say, okay, the first round goes to this person. It was more or less uh, we're gonna slug it out till we get to two for two type of thing. That's how it was back then. Yeah. That's how it was. Because that's yeah. how the red flag class was. Mm -hmm. There was no who won the first round. Mm -hmm. Let's go. There was none of that. No. Because back no, then no. clashing was new to everybody. Yeah, in the city. Yeah, and so that's why Ron else was doing this class series. Yeah, Let's do the class series. Okay, so you're saying that one? It was really the stitchy that crippled the dance oh, and yeah. that, mush that, up everything. Okay, cool. It. So then, this is my question here: Was there yeah. actually a trophy for that dance? You know, I don't know. I mm. really don't know. There yeah. should be. Yeah, I think there was. There was. Yeah, I think okay. there was. Yeah, because the because the class sound class series. Yeah, he had trophies for every series. Yeah, series. Okay, so this is the big question here now. When people say lock off, I don't think they mean you got locked off in yeah. the dance. I think they mean you got locked off after the fact. Because remember, after that class here, heavyweight just basically was quiet for. Oh, because on that note, yeah, well, we played with them the next night. The next night, we because that class was on a Friday night. I thought it was a Saturday all this time. You no, know? no, 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 no. That was a Friday night. Yeah, we played at mo five twenty-five Morris the next night. King Turbo, Everweight, and Bird Culture the next night, and they had two sounds in there. String up, and I was vexed, and I'm like, yeah. "Yo, I took over the mic now." 
Yeah. I told I I was on the mic. I said, yo, last night I fuck with. Let's deal with it now. And then Ricky like, yo, last night the last night, you know, when I uh, you lose last night when I uh, you know because I was vexed, guy. And we had all yeah. the all the money. Yo, let's go. Yeah. There's no midnight, no run us. Let's yeah. go. Do it again. <laughs> it didn't happen, obviously. I, I, I yeah. wouldn't. I, if I was them, I wouldn't do it either. Yeah. I ended up a juggling night, but natural word, natural song. I'm not playing song that I, I didn't play the night before. So I had fresh dubs to play, but yeah, that was it. And then basically, of course, when you lose something, mm-hmm. you either rebound or you get blamed. Yeah. What do you think happened? Yeah. I got blamed. And I was giving blame to certain and certain people. Yeah. So I took the blame because mm-hmm. I was I was in the forefront. When you see mm-hmm. him, right, you think of Ronnie Collins. Yeah, for sure. No matter what, I don't care. Even even nowadays. Yeah. They have other people thinking that they're the man, but they're not. The oh, rules oh, the oh, rules oh, come oh. from me. One thousand percent. You understand? Like I, mm-hmm. you, you can say that you're this or you're that, but mm-hmm. when you think of heavyweight Scarborough, mm-hmm. yeah, Ronnie Collins, that's mm-hmm. all you think about. Yeah. Anyways. I still, we still, another year went by. I was still playing. I still have the flyers to back it up. Mm-hmm. Up until 95, then King Sharp came on. So if I was dead, not bad, was dead, how did King Sharp come on the sound? So King Sharp came on after fact, but I guess the same yeah. level that you guys were at. Yeah, we're, uh, man, we're it still, came, it came down we're, we're still, not really, because it made King Turbo go to another level, obviously. Okay. Yeah. But it still made us level. We didn't go up, we didn't go down. We just, we were still getting the same dates. Remember, I had dates booked before and after the clash. So yeah. they're not going to say, oh, you're lost. We're taking you off. They're not going to do that. Yeah, and yeah, 80% yeah. of those dances were with King Turbo anyway. Yeah. So basically, we use the same two pictures from the flyer <laughs> for the next set. Yeah. But at that time, I was young, and I was a sore loser, and I was vexed <laughs> every day. I was cussing everybody, mm-hmm. and I just I had to get stronger. And mm-hmm. I blamed I blame Carla Marshall. I blamed... Mm-hmm. I played Machu, I blame Ron Nelson, I blame everybody, but I didn't blame myself. Okay. I go, I had to be prepared for that. Mm-hmm. And I wasn't. Because the first time I was out of my element because of one song. It took me out of my element. One song. The stitchy, bro. To the, to the point where I'm like, I don't even know what I'm looking for. Yeah. I don't know what to do. So I had to draw for the custom. Yeah. Just to, just to show face. Yeah. Because it was done after that. That's the last two months. It's not like I begged to play. I go, well, I'll play one more tune. Yeah. That basically, I said, I'm done. I surrendered. And I was hoping the Beanie Man mm-hmm. would enlighten it yeah. to the point where, no, no, play again. Keep playing. No, it's too late. Yeah. It I got a little, a little rail up, but yeah. I'm still on top of the stitching. Yeah. So you're talking, okay, 95. And then how did King Sharp even come into the fold? Who was on Heavyweight that time before King Sharp? Same when King time. Sharp came I in? Remember, the original Mikey Million. Yeah. Was basically, unfortunately, my boy was eased out because at that time, Mikey Dillon was warm and easy inside the groove as he moved. You know what I mean? And Matthew came with the the talk to the girls, the laugh, yeah, the singing, yeah. and the different element mm-hmm. that he played to how I played. Because most MCs nowadays yeah. have to play to what their selector does. For sure. You understand? Know That's why I read mm-hmm. Black Reaction. Mm-hmm. You understand? Know because yeah. Kamal and Blacks. They've been together forever and they're loyal. That's another thing, but we're not talking about loyalty because that's a mm-hmm. tough topic with me. <laughs> but the selector is the guy that you have to follow. Yeah. You look and see what he's playing, and you, yo, let me say this when you yeah. play. Mm-hmm. You understand? So Matthew was a good fit for me. Yeah. And that's what basically got us to the King Terrible Clash level because of Matthew. Got you. Got because you. he was he was a hype singer, a singer, it's all about that. His voice was perfect mm-hmm. for us. So then that slowly windowed after the clash. Yeah. Man, I look money. Where's the money? Where the money? And I'm every Saturday, I'm driving to friggin' Mississauga to buy records for yeah. my, you know what I mean? That's all. That was me. Mm-hmm. Nobody else come with me. It's me. I get up 10 o'clock, two. I'm in Mississauga for four hours downstairs mm-hmm. looking for records. So now there's a storm now come on the field. Mm-hmm. There's a storm, Mega and, and Kujo. Yeah. At Concord. Mm-hmm. And then time we, <laughs> Me and Concord, we're not close, but we're, we're good. Okay. To the point where, where Concord tried to buy me off a of heavyweight. Oh, yeah. He offered me fucking money to leave heavyweight. To play Desert Storm, bro? Play Desert Storm. And I wouldn't do it. I go, I'm not doing it. Yeah. Beg me. I go, no, I'm not. I don't. I'm not doing it. 
because I had respected Mega and Kujo and the whole Desert Storm family. Mm-hmm. At that time, King Sharp was on no sound. He used to come to the dance. Yeah. And then I heard him. I don't know. I didn't even know how King Sharp came on to the. I don't. I don't know. To be honest with you, I really don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But he came with his young boy swag yeah. and, 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 and his gangster talk and his, his gal mm-hmm. swag. And that was going good for a while. But then yeah. at that time, Money now run again, like before, because as the years go on, money dwindle. Mm-hmm. So dubs aren't getting cut as much as we'd like to. So King Sharp, yo, you're not cut this. You need to cut this. You need to cut that. That time money, money shot. Yeah. Money now run. Mm-hmm. So then he went to Desert Storm, man. Look what he did with Desert Storm. Went to World Clash. But hold on. Thing. Before we even get there, because remember, how long was he actually on Heavyweight for? A year and a half. I'll say a year and a half. About a year. So, okay. So he wasn't on there for like a three, four years type of thing. No, 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 no. No, no, yeah. no. So, okay, because I one of the... I didn't even know the dubs that have his name in it. That's how, yeah. I, that's how I know. Because what I do know for sure, one of the more... One of the dances I remember with King Sharp and Headweight was over at Kingsborough Banquet Hall. Yeah. Is that the yeah. one with Barry Culture? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. That's the one. Was uh-huh. that the first night... Was that the first night we seen... Or heard of Super Fresh or Black Reaction or both of them? No, I heard of both of them. I knew I, I do my homework. Yeah. Black Black Reaction in, in East and Eyes mm-hmm. was the I don't want to say sister because it's disrespect. It's like the the little the brother sound mm-hmm. to Black Supreme. One thousand percent we know it. You understand what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'm not saying big or little, they're just oh, like no. Black Supreme Family. Mm-hmm. then Black Reaction. That that's mm-hmm. how you say it. Mm-hmm. So Super Fresh double six, I know a long time. And and Steenie, Steenie came from his dad's song, Temple. Yeah, Temple. So, Soldier. Mm-hmm. So at that time, they might run it, they might have everything, Bunty, Cabra, Combination, everything. Mm-hmm. And it was me and Moose, me and Barry Yeah. yeah. And at that time, East End Sounds would always cut the dubs that every other sound had. That was a problem because yeah. all my Pepper C dubs, Moose had them. All my new dubs, Moose yeah. had them. Okay. And you know, most didn't, Barry didn't like cutting dub. You know, I cut dub. You know, Barry culture is God rest his mm-hmm. soul. He don't want cutting dub play. Mm-hmm. So we clash up one. We played our first round. It was all right. Them come out with their, their gangster talk. And then this is like one thirty. Packing up cock. Mm-hmm. Started to turn up. Pa, 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 pa. Yes, God. Everybody leave the place. Yeah. I look at Moose. I go, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God, and I got yeah. shot up. But I, I, had, I had dubs to deal with them. I had yeah. dubs, but yeah. at that time, the young West End songs, they were they were hungry. You know when you're hungry, yeah, yeah man. They, they, were, were they were they were like I call them almost like super songs because they yeah. it seemed like they came out of nowhere with these yeah. bag of dubs and they were not playing with nobody. Um, you um, know what I mean? Because back mm-hmm. then, in the West End. It was more grown folk song. Yes. Digital, mm-hmm. soul to soul, mm-hmm. high tech. Mm-hmm. Them are the big sound. Them. So mm-hmm. when you see a reaction, a black supreme too. Mm-hmm. So when you see these, I'm not gonna call them little sound because I, I I don't want nobody on on fraternity saying right. No, 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 no sounds at that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I don't disrespect no sound, but mm-hmm. and I, was like, I go, I know supreme because I know Jay Wise is behind them, mm-hmm. and I go reaction is hot. I don't know if this is before or after they clashed. Terrible. I don't remember. This I think it was, no, this was before. This is before. We, we, yeah, were, okay. just seeing, we were just yeah. seeing Black Reaction Super Fresh these times. Yeah, because right. I can tell about the emblem is all, all like somebody wrote it down and this doesn't look professional. Right. And I'm going, they were, they were hungry, guys. They were hungry, hungry, hungry. They had the chat and they had Steenie. Yeah. Steenie's been the same from there to no. He's hungry. Like, yeah. And I'm like, oh, boy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, he, had, he had me and Sharp. Yeah. He had Moose and Pancho. And Pancho, yep. I don't know if it was Pancho or Deacon. I think it was Pancho. I think it, it might have been all three of them, to tell you the truth. You know, but yeah. I remember Moose was there and I remember I Pancho. Was, Deacon might have been there. Yeah, and, and I know it was two sounds beside each other. Mm-hmm. They were on yeah. their sound, we were on yeah. our sound. Yes. And they got shot up at 1 30. I know it yeah. in my head. I, look, I looked at my la- I looked at I looked at my watch. Yeah. Because that time it was on no laptop. It was all oh. 130. Yeah. And you couldn't get him get in. You couldn't even get in a well, six shot lift off. Yeah. Boom. And I, and I'm then not gonna dance. Say, I could I could say because we were in Danzig. I'm not gonna say it was Danzig man then, but yeah. 
It was a heart attack. It's kids <laughs> road. It's right there. That's right by Morningside and Kicks Road right there. Morning. The Morningside Mall, that's where I was. That's right there. Uh-huh. Right across in there. Crazy. No, because that's another legendary time in the whole heavyweight saga there, that early okay. 90s. You yeah. brought up a song that I want to ask you about, Digital. Uh -huh. You ever played with Digital before? Of course. They call me Bumpy, call me. I think I'm the only East End sound that played in this warehouse. Remember, you used to have a club every Saturday in this warehouse. Yes. Out in Brampton. Yeah. So I don't know how he linked me, but he called me. I think through probably Carla. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's Carla. Yeah. And he goes, "Why? Well, I have the flyers too. You know, I have the fly for everything. I know. Come over and play. Come come to that warehouse. Then I'm time. That place goes to five, six in the morning. Mm -hmm. It wasn't even an after hours. That was, yeah. that was a, it was a warehouse. It was like a tin yeah. <laughs> so yeah. there's no There's no bar. There's no nice carpet, no seating. It was a warehouse, digital warehouse. Mm -hmm. So it was me, Digital, and Torpedo, another bad sound from out in Malta. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. With Apache. And you know my mentality is, you're not afraid of nothing, man. Just don't go there, Tron works. Yeah. You're a guest in their house. Chuggle, catch the vibe. You see, yeah. the bunch of it, you skin out. You play your dubs, but you don't play your dubs. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah the yeah. dubs have a call name and say, yo, mm -mm. any song boy play. You know what I mean? Because yeah. there's certain dubs you can play and certain dubs you can't play. There, it's it's like station identification where you're saying, okay, yeah, yeah we're here, but we're not trying to kill anybody. But we're yeah. Here. yeah. Yes. So we did all right still. I wasn't, as a person, Bobby said, yeah, man, go on, well. We'll go on, well. I play in, in digital thing. I played with digital twice, I think. Yeah. Every time when you get a call to play with them sounder, you're like, oh man, we're playing like Stone Love. Because you look for us back in the East, you look at like Soul and Soul, Digital. Yeah. yeah. High tech. High tech was another huh, I don't even want to talk about high tech. Hold on. <laughs> so you you were around the same time with high tech too? I thought by high by thought by no. heavyweight came in high tech had gone already. No, 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 no. High tech and that red truck with yeah. key sweet, key sweet and rufus. Come on, man. Bro. High Tech used to play, used to, High Tech had a dance in Oshawa on a Sunday. And from the time people see that truck on the highway, that place was yeah. ram packed. I, I couldn't believe it. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. High Tech. Mm -hmm. Key Sweet and Rufus. I don't know. Yeah. I know Rufus. I have Rufus on my face, but yeah, I don't yeah. know. Where, I don't know where Key Sweet is, though. I forgot. You know, I totally forgot about the second. It's Rufus, I remember, because when it came to reading flyers, nobody could read a flyer yeah. wickeder yeah. than Rufus Boss. Yeah. Because Rufus, went, Rufus went to Soville. Yeah. After yeah. everything's said and done. I don't know where Key Suite went to, though. Yeah. Somebody I might know. I, I don't know. Wow. Okay, so we talked about the King Turbo Clash. Was there any other clashes that Heavyweight was in? Any official clashes? Because I know no, back then, no it start, there was no other official one. No, there was, there was like, <laughs> Bulldog, learn the, yes. hard, learn the hard way. <laughs> what happened with them? Well, with Mal coming to Malvern, it was just us and Bulldog. Yeah. And another hungry sound. Mm -hmm. Come with a bag of chat. Mm -hmm. and, and one thing I realized in Sound Clash, never underestimate who you're playing with. Mm -hmm. And never and never assume that they don't have it. So they came with a bag of shit. Blah, blah, blah. blah. You don't have this, you don't have that. And I played an intro and they, they had to leave. My intro <laughs> says, it starts off, <laughs> puppy, everywhere you go, air carrier, puppy. And that was it. They had to leave. Yeah. Yeah, it's natural. <laughs> they're called they're called bull, they're called they're yeah. called bull, bulldog. Yeah, about, and the intro alone killed them. I don't know. I know what the song is, but the intro alone. Yeah, they had to leave because they're in Malvern. Nobody has heard of you. Yeah, are you crazy? Wow. Then, then there's King Vower. Mm-hmm. They learned Prince song. Oh, they learned the hard way too. Yeah. But the respect King Vower, Mighty Moss. I know him long mm -hmm. time, long time. He came to Malvern too. It was a Malvern or Milliken, one of those places. It was us and King Bauer. Mm -hmm. You know I me, mean? I, I know I know my I know where I'm at. Mm -hmm. So I know what I have to do. Because it's yeah. in my mind, anything east is me. Yeah. That's my mentality. So mm -hmm. they came and I'm time Snagapus. Remember Snagapus? Yes. For some reason, I got a shipment of Snagapus. <laughs> and, and, and they go, yo, everyone, you can't play this. And you're, yeah. Yeah, 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 you know, Snagapus. Yeah. I went, oh, God. That's how I had. Seven pieces of snuggle puss already. They don't know that. So I go, wait a second. We can't play snuggle yeah. So I play the intro. Yeah. Yeah, snuggle puss. It was, it was Anthony Marvel. One of the okay. biggest songs Anthony Marvel yeah. sang. Cast seven never did I want you. Mm -hmm. And they had to leave. 
to this day. I bought I bug my mouse about this all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I like I like what they're doing now because but I can't say that to them because they're active right now. Yeah. They're active. They've yeah. been in a couple clashes. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I can't say nothing about heavyweight, mm -hmm. but that's a whole topic you I know you're gonna get to. <laughs> we're getting, we're, listen, we're getting there. What I want to ask, okay, so then those were there was only one official class, uh, which was yeah, the King Turbo, and then there was some other you there meet was, up here, you uh, meet up there type of thing. Yeah, there was a clash. We were a special glad uh, special guest at a clash, mm -hmm. and I was told by the other sound that they shouldn't be clashing us. Yeah. I'm not gonna afraid. Black Supreme yeah. versus yeah. Red Flag. We were the special guests. A Ron Nelson series. Yeah. At that time I got another bag of the dubs. And I was a juggling song. Yeah. And I don't give a fuck. I reached mm. them. Yeah. To the point where the crowd was like, Lord, God, <laughs> everywhere. Because that it was at it was at the church too. Yeah. It okay. Was, it was, it was in Scarborough. They kept that in Scarborough? Scarborough? Black Supreme versus Red Flame. In the same place where they kept the yeah. Turbo Red Flame? The I, King I, Turbo Heavyweight? Yep. Yes, it was. Probably a year or two later. Yeah, yeah. it was there. I, 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 you could check Spider on that. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure you're going to have to interview Spider very soon. Because <laughs> <laughs> he, I know, he's on my, he's on my WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. But I, I remember that. And it was, uh, yeah, I played the, at that time I had, oh my God. Mm -hmm. Black Supreme, JY's go, a Heavyweight, we should have clashed tonight. Because I was, I was just, actually, they clashed twice. Mm -hmm. Yes. They clash in the west by the bridge. The beat. Yep, by the beat. Yep. Yeah, I think this was a return clash yes. in the east. They did one in the west, one in the east. Okay. Because I know you're probably thinking of the west one. Mm -hmm. When that was Lindo P. When, yes. Played, yes. when you when you cross the bridge. Mm. You know, I remember I, I, I still have, I have I have all those cassettes, man. Yeah. I even That's... have cassettes. I even have cassettes with Spanish fly. Wow. Bad Bush That's... crew. That's original red thing. I don't, I don't forget any sound I've played. Yeah. Don't. I just don't. I don't know That's why. Crazy. So let me ask you when it came. So you guys are hot in East. There was also, so at that time, it was basically Stir Choice, Red, Stir Choice, Barry Culture. They were the bigger sounds. Yeah. The sounds coming out was Heavyweight, King Turbo, Delta Force, Soul Action, Lone Star. All right. Outside of King right. Turbo, did you okay. get into to any. Did you say Red Flame? Yeah, I must not. Have, so it was King Turbo. Let's go, King Turbo, Red Flame, yeah. Heavyweight, Delta Force, Soul Action, and Lone Star. So it was six, six yeah, but, E songs. Yeah, but remember, Barry had gone younger with Moose, so yeah. Barry Barry's in that mix too. Got you. But At that you time, Barry Culture is Moose now, so yeah. for the younger guy, the all time Barry was Barry and DC stereotypes mm -hmm. back in the yeah. day, but then Got they. You. Rod and Moose, so you can add him to the list. Okay. So there were seven songs basically, yeah, basically. running the East Coast time, and that's phenomenal at that time. So you yeah. never got into anything with like a Soul Action or a Red Flame or a Delta Force or even Barry no, himself? Me and Red, me and Spider kick off a couple of times. Yeah. But uh, to the point where he's writing down all the 45s he has to play before we play the dubs. Right. <laughs> I've never, I've never seen that before in my life, but He'll deny it, but I, I can tell you that I can tell you, I can tell you what dance it was too. What dance what, was that? What it was dance that, was it? Was that um it was on Eglinton and, and McCowan, some some little side yeah thing there. Mm -hmm. And I I don't I don't know, he probably thought I was mad at him or I, I said something like I don't know. Yeah. But back then rumors, hearsay, hearsay, I hear say everyone said this about this. And I, I'm not I wasn't about that. I'm not into you know what I mean. I just I just want to play music. Yeah, I'm in it for the fun. I'm not in it for yo. I'm a cat with keep playing with them and kill them. Some mm -hmm. sounds start that way, and mm -hmm. that's the end of it. Yeah. Soul action now. Mm -hmm. Soul action. Lyndon came with his his sweet voice and his his crystal clear dubs. Mm -hmm. Remember, soul action mm -hmm. didn't have no top of top dubs. You know, they didn't really have no top of top. Not dub, no. Yeah. They, were just, they were just cut perfectly. Okay, fair so, enough. And, and his voice matched yes. the tunes. Mm -hmm. Perfectly, because I remember, like I said, Soul Action, Delta Force, King Turbo, mm -hmm. and the cassette is crystal clear. And yeah. the well, thing with Soul Action, yeah. they had the sound machine, the Stone Love sound machine. You Nobody had that. Nobody had that better. No, no. So when you had that sound machine, yeah. you got Stone Love play. <laughs> so anything you play, you're the yeah. and they even had a man working. The, I forget his name. Yeah. 
Okay, I, I, didn't even remember, I didn't even remember that. Yeah, man, the guy's working yeah. the sound machine. Like, yeah. I just you, know what? you know what you say? You're 100% yeah, right. You know what you yes, bro. He'll cry. I remember the dance. Yeah. So, soul action, King Turbo, and Delta Force. Yeah. And um, my boy, um, so who's talking for Turbo? Oh, my God. It wasn't Ricky. It, it wasn't, wasn't Ricky. Oh, it starts with an F. Flash. Okay. Flash I talk for Turbo that night. Yeah. And all you hear when Stone when Soul actually played, that yeah. Stone Love was there because it was so like the organ thing. I go, this is some bullshit right here. This is a this is a basement party. Basement party. Basement. Come on. Back in the day, basement. Yeah. There were the whole hundred people, not even. Fifty people in a basement. They were jamming two hundred plus. Inside, you couldn't go up and down the stairs. You understand? No exit. Fucking cramp. No light. Man, smoking weed. Yeah. What is wrong with it? <laughs> what are we doing, man? I can't understand. I'm thinking about we we went. <laughs> buddy, uh, buddy. But the craziest part is, if you remember, they would even put foil on the light well, in the basement. You know. <laughs> But I, 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 I have to rate the weed man because yeah. it's pitch black and man is rolling weed with one hand. Can you see that? Can't see shit. It's a roll. Pitch black, y'all. They got light now. I go, crazy. You guys are good guys. Good. Crazy. Crazy. I go, we, crazy. Went, we went through some shit back in the town of Markham and mm -hmm. Malvern. Yeah. I don't think West End had basement parties. Not like, I don't, they were yeah. more. On Eglinton, like under yeah, like a like a like a yeah. shop and all of those yeah. stuff there, but not the house parties like what we're having. Yeah, no, no, no. Because no. we're more developed. I'm not this in the yeah. West, but we're no, more no, no. developed. We were more we were more houses. West at that time was more buildings, yeah. apartment buildings, stores, and those stuff there. Yeah, and there was no there's no bylaws then. Mm -mm. They didn't there. start moving to the Bramptons and stuff until a bit later, and that's when all of those yeah. stuff came in to play with the Brampton. Yeah, Brampton is Ajax now. Yeah. Everybody's everybody's mm -hmm. in Durham. Everybody and their mothers in Durham. You understand that. Let's talk about some of your dubs in heavyweight box. Oh, Name boy. three of your favorite dubs in your box and why. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. From now or back then, does it matter? Uh, Dennis Brown, obviously. Which one? <laughs> yeah, <I don't... laughs> now you want to know much more. No, 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 no. I don't want to know that. I just want to know which one. Here I come. I like that one because it's, just, it's a staple. Mm-hmm. Here I come, the John Holt. Yeah, and I'm gonna say I'm gonna say the Baby Wayne. The Baby Wayne. I love all my Baby Wayne's. Yeah. I love them all. I just love his voice. Yeah, and some sounds can't play Baby Wayne. No, no, no. I you know that? I'm not mm -hmm. sounds, but you just <laughs> like I can do a, I can do two hours of dead artists, basically. I could have of the week, Garnet Silk had it lined up, everything lined up, Garnet Silk. He, a week later, he died. You don't understand. You don't understand the money, everything, the songs, everything lined up. Get it garnished. Garnished. I call. Yeah. <laughs> God. Yeah. God. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah. So you see those three dubs you said the Dennis Brown, the John Holt, and the um, Baby Wayne. Did you cut any of those or those were sent to you at, at that time there? Let's see. The Baby Wayne, I think I cut on the frog. Yeah. Right. yeah. The biggest, the truth is one I like. On the frog rhythm, yeah. The truth, I, I cut that one. The on deep the frog, frog rhythm, frog rhythm. Mm -hmm. yeah. The, the actually, I like the Delroys too, but the the deep browns and the John Holt, that was Carla. Yeah. But I, I told her what to. I told her what I wanted though. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, when you get them, yeah, you want more. Yeah. Because yeah. There's, there's a whole bunch of deep brown and oh, I should have got. You know, when I should have got, I should have got, but. You can't go back. Yeah. And okay. Without I mean, letting out the, all the, the the secrets of the box, what are some other dead artists you have in your box? Frankie Paul, Eddie, yeah. Fitz, Eddie Fitzroy, uh, Sugar Minot, Delroy Wilson, uh, Baby Wayne. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I, I just did a cassette with them. Oh, God. Oh, my God. It's, no, but these aren't just one away. So there's like four or five on each. Oh my god! Yeah. 
I said Frankie Paul. I said Eddie yeah. Fitzroy. Oh my God! I, I know there's like six more. Yeah. This, this, if I was if I was on my laptop, I could yeah go I through and find them. I could I could play them for you, but yeah. <laughs> Wow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, okay, I know where you're going next. Go ahead. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> where where, do, you think, where do you think I'm going? Where am I going? Where am I going? You'll know when you get there. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. no, bro. This, this. Listen. Let me control the story. Breathe and relax. I'm Ooh. fine. I'm fine. Enjoy the story. Enjoy the journey. I'll okay. tell you something. I'll tell you this much. It always happens when we're done recording. I yeah. guarantee you. You're going to have so many memories in the back of your mind that's going to come up that you completely forgot forgot about until we, when we... Yeah, maybe, but I'm pretty... I'm going I'm going on point right now. Yeah. Time. All right. I, I kind of prepared for this. Yeah. All right. So then now let's talk about when did actually heavyweight slow down and almost basically stop playing as heavyweight and then you turn over to DJ Rodney. 96. 96. 96. When Sharp went to Desert Storm. Yeah. I had no mic left. Mm -hmm. I, I, I everybody said that like, like my my specs I rate number one. Mm -hmm. That's just my boy. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go around that. Yeah. Some people don't like him, as mm -hmm. he would say, they can drink acid. Yeah. But specs is my boy. Mm -hmm. Um. Ninety six, my boy Roger, Raw Entertainment. Yeah. Said, Get out of the reggae thing, fuck mm -hmm. it. Because mm -hmm. I, I if I talk, shall I talk to you right now? If I talk on a mic, yeah, a problem, you know. Yeah, but I like I like to mix, man. I, I it's I try to rate Steeny, yeah, White Boy, uh, Blacks, mm -hmm. Specs, of course, mm -hmm. because they could talk and mix it. It's just I, I just I can't do it. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm always want to be technical. I want to be technical. I want to make sure the mix is on point. I don't because when I talk, I, I'm yeah. I, oh, fuck, it's off it's off of yeah. me. <laughs> yeah, but ninety six, Roger said. Get out of friggin' reggae. Mm -hmm. At that time, reggae was slowly getting to where it is now. Okay. Actually, it was, it was getting to everything was clash, clash or clash. Yeah, yeah, fully loaded. You had mm -hmm. this, that, that. It's pure clash. Mm -hmm. So, that time I used to hate funky, yeah. R&B. I hate. It. I called him pretty boy, pretty boy mm -hmm. motherfuckers to be exact. I don't know if I could swear. I'm sorry. I of swear. course you can. Of course. So, I used to hate. So he basically got me into clubs. Okay. I, Basically, I was doing his his boat cruises. You think you know you know Roger Wilson? Maybe I don't know. Of course, we're forever. Yeah. Big, yeah, big Roger. Power, power, power yeah, yeah. yeah, man. So I was doing I was doing weddings, a lot of weddings. <laughs> as Ron, as heavyweight Ron C, <laughs> but they knew they knew what they knew they were, what they were getting. You understand know what I mean? Yeah. So I started doing fun clubs. I think the first I was doing like Xerox Towers. Uh, I did I did Infinity downtown. PWDs used to be called Infinity. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was I was buying funky records. I'm going fuck. These are expensive, man. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. One one twelve inch is like three forty five. So I'm like, yeah. fuck. And I'm going to places I never went to, like Star Sound, and play the record. Play the record. Mm -hmm. like, what the fuck? Do I need two copies? I'm seeing man buying two copies, and I'm like, I don't understand this R and B crap. Like, what the yeah. hell? So, of course, I had 1200s. They still do. So mm -hmm. I could play them in practice, mixing, and I go, it's just like mixing reggae. Mm -hmm. like some people don't mix reggae. They chop reggae. Yeah. That's a new dance song. It's chop. Yeah. Yeah. Chop plays for half a second. Mm -hmm. Play it back. Play the song back that you played six songs ago. Yeah. <laughs> oh, stupid. Yeah. So, anyway, I learned R&B, and I've always been an old school head, so... Mm -hmm. I kind of, I had to basically I had to buy, I had to buy soca, yeah. I had to buy old school, I had to buy new school, mm -hmm. I had to buy everything. Yeah. So my money is, what is the payout better? I'm gonna say the exposure is better. Got it. When you're stuck in reggae, mm -hmm. you're stuck in reggae. Yeah. You can buy one or two top R and B songs, but to do a wedding, yeah, Caucasian weddings per se. What are you gonna play? Yeah, <laughs> life, life, or like a song that everybody knows, Shaggy. Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't like you yeah. have to. Be, you have to nowadays. You just have to be able to play out of their genre. Because remember when you talked to me earlier, I said I feel like making a rock CD, and you're like, "What? Yeah, I rock. Why rock? Why, why rock? Yeah, I grew up like that. I grew yeah. up 
in Ruck, 6'8", CFDR. 6'8", of course, you understand. 10, 1050 Chump, mm-hmm. Billy Joel, all that. All, I know all that stuff. That's, yeah. I know music. Mm-hmm. That's why I read Andrew. Yeah. He knows music. Yeah. Anyway, so I got in the club. I met Alvin. I don't know if you know Alvin. Alvin and Dave. Yes, I do. Alvin. He mm-hmm. used to run pros and cues. I played up there for yeah. him. And then I got into the big thing for me was or a lounge. Yes. I played yes. a Friday night there for Alvin and Roger mm-hmm. and Erica, mm-hmm. who I love to death. Mm-hmm. Said, yo, pull me aside. I like how you play. Yeah. I want you to come back. I'm yeah. trying to come dead, you know. Yeah. Dead. Okay. And I want me to come back on Saturday because Friday was their thing. So I'm like, I ain't doing nothing tomorrow. Sure. Mm-hmm. So at that time, she had people living upstairs who would come down and just drink and listen to music. Okay. So I was at Aura for 12 years. That's how long you were out there for, bro? 12 years. 12 years I was at Aura Lounge. Holy smokes. Yeah, 12 years. I've mm-hmm. seen I played with Stone Love there, DJ Tyrone, Black Reaction, mm-hmm. Black Thunder plays. Yeah. White Boy. Yeah, it's terrible. Every, every you can't tell any DJ in the city. Yeah, if they ever played an Oral Lounge with Ron C. Yeah, if they tell you, you know they're lying. Because I, I was, I was, that. I played there every Saturday. No, I know, I knew that, but I didn't realize it was for such a long period of time. Oh, I didn't yeah, realize it was twelve years, bro. Twelve years, I was at Oral Lounge. So I guess you, the Oral Lounge, you stopped Oral Lounge basically when they were closing. No, yeah, 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 but. It was me when I was at Aura Lounge. Mm-hmm. One day you get 20, then you get 25, then you get 30 people, then 40, and it grows. Now we bring in DJ Quincy yes. from California Dream. Yeah. Because that was Erica. Erica was California Dream with Scratch and Dream. Mm-hmm. So now Erica has a name. Mm-hmm. So now her club is getting Aura Lounge. Aura Lounge. So now mm-hmm. to the point where at 1130, you can't get into Aura Lounge. You can't get in. There's no way. And then Boom, you had Sunday nights, long weekends mm-hmm. with um Solo mm-hmm. and 10 at 10 30 on a long weekend. You can't get in, yeah, or lounge because it was or lounge was the, the spot, mm-hmm. it was the spot, yep. And what changed for me at or lounge is when they changed the liquor, like liquor time from one <laughs> o'clock, yeah, to two o'clock. So that was a good thing or a bad thing. That's a bad thing. What? People were coming there before one to get their drink on. They're not coming at 1 30 to get their drink on. Yeah. It's too late. Yeah. And if you're coming in at 1 30, how much liquor can you have? Because at 2 30, lights are on, mm-hmm. finish your liquor. Mm-hmm. At one o'clock, man, back then, of course, there was no bottle service. Yeah. No, 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 no. You'll get one or two men buy a six pack and go on about. Yeah. But now at two o'clock, so people are thinking, I don't have to rush to the club so early. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get there for one. Mm-hmm. So they get there at one, one thirty, and they don't really want to buy a bottle because it's one fifty, one eighty, and your mentality is, I'm not gonna finish the bottle. Yeah. But at one o'clock, mm-hmm. you gonna finish that for three hours, two hours? Yeah. That's gonna be done. <laughs> Got you. So you don't want to be spending, especially if you go with a girl. Mm-hmm. You bring your wife there. You're gonna spend a hundred bucks, hundred fifty bucks on a bottle that you're not gonna finish. Yeah. And you're not gonna share it. And you don't want to go back and forth to the bar because that's another thing that killed clubs is bar service. Yeah, that killed that killed a lot of clubs. Mm-hmm. I understand why they did it, but you ever understand mm-hmm. something that causes more people to get drunk? Yeah, that causes more fights because you got freeloaders. Yeah. Man, come with an empty cup that you don't know. You're like, yeah. drink, no? <laughs> who's, who's this guy? Who's this guy? Yeah, but I understand why they did it because Vegas did it. So yeah, things change, and you got to keep up with the time sometimes. Yeah. I'm not saying that's the reason why it slowly died down. It's just yeah. clubs only last so long. Like yeah. 69, there's the Hillies, yeah. there's Tays, all those clubs. They don't last long. Things move on. A 12 year run for a club is almost, I wouldn't say unheard of, but that's a long time. That's why I think I'm black flag now because a lot of people hate me because I wouldn't bring them in on part of the, 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 the I go, it's not me. I was, I was the house DJ. I can't bring you in if I'm the house DJ. I'm not paying you. Yeah. And that time, Erica, <laughs> she was very hard. Yeah. She she wanted didn't want certain uncertain people in her club because mm-hmm. she wanted to keep her club. You understand yeah. what I mean? Mm-hmm. So she, like me, I was, I'm gonna say, not restricted. I was just the reggae. I couldn't play 
heavyweight style. Yeah. Which people, well, you, lo you lose yourself when you go over lunch. Yeah. I go, I didn't lose no money, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but either, either way, me plus two. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, cuss, you cuss me, but you want to be on the list. So mm -hmm. that's, 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 that's changed me into, that's got more R&B, hip-hop, soca. Yeah. I've always been soca, but I didn't, I just, oh. Yeah. It put you in that, it put you in that realm there now. Yeah, I can keep up with most of those soca guys. I'm not mm -hmm. going to lie. I keep up. Yeah. Yeah. So then that's your thing there. All right. Yeah. So we're in 2020 right now. And I was hearing about a comeback. Of heavyweight for about I would say probably the last three four years three years. three four or five years yeah what happened yeah. there <laughs> I knew it was coming <laughs> <laughs> okay so I'm saving the best for that okay so Ringo called me one day about crazy bones okay because I go I took I kept because I used to live in Ajax and Ringo lived down the street from me mm -hmm. and he was still cutting dubs yeah. Okay. And not like a bag of dubs, but it's cutting dubs. Once in a while, I peel them off a thing. Mm -hmm. I go and go do the thing. I go, heavyweight cannot come back unless we have a mic, man. You can't yeah. do it. I'm yeah. not doing it. Because and that's go, the same I, reason why you I, left in the first place. You know what I mean? Just to I come back to the I exact same situation. I didn't, yeah, I didn't really leave. I just, there was no mic, man. I, I couldn't yeah. promote heavyweight without a mic, man, because basically, me and a mic, man, made heavyweight. Like, match you elevated it. Yeah. To the point where we clash King Turbo. Mm -hmm. And I go, we need a mic, man. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying we need a war bong. I go, ah, ah. We need a mic, man, to elevate yeah. the sound. I go, you give me a mic, man, I'll push the sound. Because I'm still playing regular. Yeah. So it's not like I'm stale. I'm not playing in my basement. I'm going out and I'm playing for people. So I'm still fresh. I'm yeah. up to date. I go, get a mic, man. Mm -hmm. Simple. So then he called the originals. Kill our reefle, original. Crazy Bones. I knew Crazy Bones from Come Tracks. I've seen him. Okay. Like, I've been to some of his clashes. I, yeah. I go, he's a warmer. He's he white, rocks the war. Yeah. I have no problem with that. It's got to adapt to me. Mm -hmm. To me, I'm old school to them. Yeah. You understand? I, I, I could, I give or take, I'll go, let me see where you're at. I'll see where I'm at. Then also, mm -hmm. there was, DMS was already on Heavyweight. Yeah. Okay. That, was, that, was, that was Ringo's move yeah. to bring out DMS, mm -hmm. which I knew from Climax. Got you. So, so now we all came to my house. I'm, you've seen the pictures, mm -hmm. and we said, "Okay, boom, boom." Everyone's back, no problem. So, we started all talking, cutting dubs, mm -hmm. focusing them. But I was I, to the point where they were getting we're getting tons of clash dates. Okay, Chucky, Chucky was calling for clash dates. Yeah. Polly was calling for class dates. Everybody was calling for that. Ron Nelson called me for fully loaded, I think he did. Was it fully loaded he did recently? Yeah, fully loaded was his things. That uh who won it, man? Who won it? Was, fuck. Who just won it? Um, I don't even remember. They were, in, they, were in, they were in the Canada Cup clash. Mm -hmm. Not Lionheart, the next one. Lazar um, Force. Lazar yes, Force. Yes, 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 yes. Lazar yes. Force called it. Mm -hmm. So I got a call for that. But you don't mind there are about what Ron Nelson did to us back in 94. Yeah. Which I go, he didn't do anything. It's fucking, yeah. we need to, exp everybody knows everybody has a deep box. Mm -hmm. you, uh, we've added to it. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Who cares? No, no, we're not. Fuck Ron Nelson. Fuck no, we're not doing it. I go, mm -hmm. So right there in my head, I go, you guys, are, you're going to be still stuck in the garage. Yeah. You got to go out. Even if you go out and get killed. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Because the only thing we did was the march out. Yes. For Pablo. Okay. It was me and Bones playing. Yeah. And okay. everybody's like, everybody's like on the fraternity, blood clad, everywhere. Jeez. Yeah. Them two, them, the shooter, don't go away. I mean, I'm going to talk about it. If, if they get everything in order, boy, yeah. troubles. Mm -hmm. So from then I'm going, Bill off that. Yeah. Bill off that. Everybody, we played together. Mm -hmm. You, know, I know what you're thinking. Level. I, I, I got custom to the new style of DJ, because back then there was no level and no, turn it down. no, none of that. Yeah, <laughs> no way. We, we, we did fine. Mm -hmm. We got praise for it on, on the fraternity, which is hard to do because yeah. when you get praise on the fraternity, yeah. they're 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 hard on that motherfucker. Yeah. You know that. That's why I creep in and creep out. I go, yeah. uh, I'm not, <laughs> I, but 
And then, I don't know, something happened and internal fights happened and Sheila kicked off with, with, with somebody and left and then another man left mm -hmm. and then I'm like stuck in the middle and I'm like, yo, buddy, what's wrong with you guys? Yeah. So basically, I'm not going to say I was weeded out. Okay. But I was weeded out. You understand what I'm saying? I was, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So they were doing their dance. I did a couple dance with them for Jason Frost. Jason, yeah. Jason, yeah, Jason Frost. Yeah. In Oshawa. Yeah. So we were at a point where we can go to the next step. But everything kept pushing down, pushing back down. Doubles were getting cut. Yeah. M money was an issue because, oh, I put in this much. You need to put more. Blah, blah, blah. That's all internal stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. So to the point where I go, I can't. This is. This is not what I'm about. I didn't build this sound to do this. Like, yeah. I go just, just work together. Let's just focus on one thing. At a point where I got to, it, they're getting personal because Akila had a stroke, and and it's just certain things were said I didn't like. Yeah. And Killa's my boy, my best man. Course, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stay with people that are dissing the man that nearly died. Mm -hmm. And right now, like, he, he's still not 100. percent He'll never be the same. Yeah. So that's my boy. So I, I'm gonna. I'm. I just. I live. I just. Because if I want to be, if I uh, the saying is, you fuck with the bull, you get the horns. Yeah. I don't want anybody to see me that way. Yeah. Because I, I, I just don't want. So I removed myself from the whole equation. I let them do their thing. Yeah. And then we sat out here. Bones is on. X loaded. Like where the fuck did that come from? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I go, yeah. I, I, I called Gary. I go, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, man, I don't know what's going on, but uh, I already got it. <laughs> and after that, I go, yo, wow. send, me, I go, send me the dubs. Yeah. <laughs> send me all the dubs. Every single dub they cut, I want them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. So it almost turned into a case where there was almost like two heavyweights? Yeah. Heavyweight and heavyweight international. I'll <laughs> let you figure that out. <laughs> but heavyweight international was part of the heavyweight ensemble to begin with. Yes. So right now, today yeah. in 2020, is there two sounds still? Let me just put it this way. Yeah. That that was a legal move. Got you. You understand? Yeah. You yeah. figure that out. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll tell you what you should know what that means. Yeah. Okay. Wow. I did it. Again, I'm just here thinking that everything is yeah, nice it's, in it's, Soundland it's, and everybody's I'm happy and smiling. I, mean, I don't I don't want it because when this comes out, there's gonna be problems. Mm -hmm. I'm not mad at nobody. Big up yeah. Ringo, big up Green mm -hmm. big up BJ Carey, DMS, everybody. Mm -hmm. I'm not I just we were on a level where we could have did things mm -hmm. and it didn't happen. And that's mm -hmm. it bothers me. Yeah. It sure bothers it me. Of course it would. Right now, what I see out there is Nothing. I'm not saying garbage. Mm -hmm. I, I don't just know sound, but what's going on now? I pick up like everybody's on IG. Yeah. And then you see how, you go on attorney, man is bashing man. Oh man, going on IG with three people watching you. So what? Buddy. So what? I don't care. I I'm, I was on I go on live every Friday night. Yeah. And I, I go, I said I tell them I don't care if I have one follower, two followers, or twenty followers. Mm -hmm. If I have one person listen, if I have one person listen to me for five minutes. I did my job. Who cares? I'm out here looking for likes. Yeah. I do it for love. Yeah. I don't know. You get it. Well, who knows? It's culture. It's all good. And again, your story has been so amazing, so inspiring. And actually get to hear because we talk all the time, you know, when we're talking about I you all the, time. the bad songs and all these stuff. We're, listen, heavyweight always comes up in the argument. Always. You understand? Yeah. So it's a it was a Amazing that you actually got to sit down and let's talk about it. You know, and what I, mean? I, I defend heavyweight no matter what because a few weeks ago there was some this heavyweight relevant in the dance hall. Yeah, I nipped that in the bud. Yeah, that argument's done. I just I defend it. Yeah, so I, I feel like I'm a, a, a daddy or something or or thing. I go, yeah. we're relevant in every sound. Yeah, just like Stone Love is. Yeah. We all follow Stone Love one way or another. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. You, you well, see, what, you what, know what you're talking about. What are you coming back on the road, Radicate? <laughs> Listen, this <laughs> is uh... a. <laughs> I can't. I, I can't ask the questions. I I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna ask you questions. So, uh, muscle. When is eradication? When did it first start? <laughs>
Well, that was um, <laughs> November 1990. Yes, that's when we cut our first. What, is your dub, favorite, so, yes. what are your favorite dubs? My favorite dubs are some of the Bounty Killers and the Alton Blacks and those type of stuff in our box. Yes, I would say those. I have Alton Black, you motherfucker. <laughs> you have an Alton Black, I want you bastard. Buddy, but you're talking about Garden Silk. You know, when we got bought the Alton Black, we were so mad it was supposed to be Garden Silk. And we were, we were furious. We got three Alton Black and we were so mad we got them. It was supposed to be Garden and Silk, bro. Is it the good Alton Blacks, though? It's not the Galtoon one, though. It's the one of them is the big one, Miss Goody Goody with him and Galaxy P, okay, and yeah. another another one, three three big songs. You know what I mean? Uh, the Garden Silk rhythm. Mm -hmm. the, the, um, I haven't I played those played, forever. I, I just played it yesterday too. You know the song. Yeah. The one it was on, on a jam. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. That's yeah. right. All right, before we even go, listen, because this is your interview. This has nothing to do with me. I have a round here called Rapid Facts, where I ask you some quick questions. You give me back some quick answers, all right? Okay. You ready? Yeah. What? All right, let's go. When it comes to chicken wings, what do you prefer, drums or flats? Drums. Okay. Favorite color? Black. Favorite basketball player of all time? Carter. Okay. Most underrated artist of all time? DJ artist or... Like artists, it doesn't matter what type of artist. Baby Wayne. Okay. Um, would you prefer a credit score of one thousand or one million dollars in cash? Credit score one thousand. Okay. Last book you read or listened to? How to quit smoking. All right. <laughs> okay. Good one. Okay. What's your favorite movie of all time? Jesus. Yeah. Now, uh, shot us. Chat that's a big movie. Okay. If you could have dinner with three people, dead or alive, who would they be? Dennis Brown. Mm -hmm. Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. one, oh, one, more. One, more. one more? Yeah. My dad. Yeah. Okay. Good one. One word that describes you best? Joker. All right. Um, one physical thing you cannot live without? Physical? Yeah. It could be something. It could be something like a, a phone, a laptop. It doesn't oh, matter. Something oh, vain. Oh, my car. Your car. Okay. I can live without um, my phone. Yeah. Okay. I your favorite. <laughs> your favorite era in music. Nineties. Nineties. Okay. All right. Your favorite TV show of all time. Well, I'm not saying the Cosby Show. That's for damn sure. Uh, Jesus Christ. All right. I'm gonna say Will Smith, Fresh Prince. Fresh Prince. Okay. What's your biggest fear? Heights. I, okay. Last one here. Best advice you've received and who was it from? Oh, jeez. Uh, I'm going to say, fuck, I'm going to say my mom. Mm -hmm. And what was, what, what was the advice? Just don't worry about anything. Just take care of yourself. Mm-hmm. That makes sense to see. Wow, you, bro, you breeze through those quick. That's the end of the rapid facts here. Now it's your turn. Anybody you want to big up anything you want to say, contact info. Leave all your info here before I get you out here. A card with me. You made me move from the basement. You okay? <laughs> uh, okay. So big up my wife Jeanette and her family that we're here right now. I'm not if I don't big them up, I won't hear the end of it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna big up DJ wise. I'm going to pick up all the DJs because I don't hate any DJs. Some DJs don't know me, so don't like me, but what the hell was that? What was that? Not sure. Go ahead. I'm like a dog, but I don't know a dog here. Yeah. <laughs> pick up all the DJs. I'm going to say a special shout out to Specs. Mm -hmm. I DJed his wedding in Jamaica. My boy for life. Specs. Mm -hmm. Killa. Hope he gets better. Mm -hmm. the original heavyweight, my name, Reefo. Oh, my God. I don't like bigging up people that don't big me up. That's how bad mind I am. I am bad mind. Big up Frost. I have to big up Frost. Yeah. Oops, my dopes. I call him Frost. I don't know who gave him Pablo. I yeah. like Pablo. I like Frost. <laughs> Frost with dopes. Mm -hmm. um, just, just Erica. Mm -hmm. Raw Entertainment. Run things. Mm -hmm. All my, my golf buddies. Like I golf. My cheesecake family. Mm -hmm. I work at the Cheesecake Factory. It, it's Jack Astor's family. I just. Big everybody up, man. I don't hate nobody. I hope when this comes out, I'm going to hear Pierre Flack on the friggin' in fraternity. And you know what? As Spec says, I keep using Spec's line. They can yeah. go drink. They can go drink acid. Yeah. Hot Guinness. Hot Guinness. Cool Guinness. It's yeah. And I'll be on IG. My name, 
Every Fridays, they're called Ron C Radio. Every mm -hmm. Fridays, okay. I play in a mixture of everything. Last night, I played soul music for Christ's sake. Okay, I, I don't care, and that's why I practice on the mic. I just got a mic, <laughs> so I'm practicing. So be careful. <laughs> be careful. Where could they um on Facebook and Instagram? What's your handles? DJ Ron C Ron Cassell Heavyweight on Facebook, Instagram. I think it's DJ Ron C twenty nineteen or something. Yeah, thank you finally, man. You, I, I wish I had the card to put up, but I get, I get. Oh my god, what's happening not, to me? I'll put it up in the end. Yeah, yeah man, I, I, do, I, 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 I don't like promoting myself. I just, yeah, I've been through the trials and tribulations of, of the, the, the DJ world is very harsh. Yeah, and I've been to both of them, mm -hmm. the R&B field, the club field, and the reggae field. Yeah, they, they talk behind your back. They're, they're mm -hmm. when they see in the club, they're hailing you up here. I want better. Fuck you. So, <laughs> they, they know me as an asshole, but I also mm -hmm. be a joker. And I don't know. Yeah. I love to be back on the dance, the, the clash field. I love to. Okay. I get a mic, so man. anything, anything is possible. Twenty twenty, eh? Yeah, I'm talking on the mic, but I, I'm, I'm different. I have to have a DJ that's, that's me. Yeah. I need a twin of me to think like I think. All right. So it's out there in the atmosphere now. You never know what will happen. Yeah, you know I mean, we might we might see the return of heavyweight on the battlefield. You right. heard it first right here. Or I'll call it Ron C heavyweight. Yeah, a lot of people put their name in front of the sound. <laughs> I'll, go, I'll go into that. <laughs> yeah, Brad, Ron, it's been it's been an amazing conversation. Thank you so very much. What two hours? The podcast. Yeah. yeah, it's about an hour and a half. Crazy. Jeez, you know what I, mean? I know it's not the longest one, but it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, but this is, but it's very informative and it's answering a lot of questions. Oh boy, the, the class is going to cause big problem. Yeah. You're going to bring man back on here to talk, aren't yeah. you? <laughs> no. Right. <laughs> some rebuttals. It's going to be some rebuttals. I don't need to listen. My yeah. thing is, you tell me your story and let's keep it moving. That's I, how, that's I, I I mean. this. Have you had Ron Nelson on here yet? <sighs> Okay, you know what? I've never put it out there and I've never spoke about that situation before, but me and Ron haven't spoken in about uh, 12 years. So you, you didn't hit him over the head with a bottle. Hmm? Or, or wasn't you, it was somebody else. No. Hit, him, hit him over the head with a bottle. And yeah, no, we haven't. We're not, we're not on no vibes and that's what it is. But uh, since we're putting that out there, let me put this out there too. If Ron called me today and said, hey, Whatever it is, by God's, be, by God's, I say sorry. He says sorry. Whatever the case is, he said, yo, I want to record tomorrow. I would say, come, let's go right now. Yeah, but this forum, you don't have to right see now. it. This forum, you can do it. Now I would sit in the studio. I would sit in my studio and do it. Don't get it twisted for one-tenth of a second. Not because we're not talking and we're not on no vibes. Ron taught me so much. Yeah, he's career. a pioneer. He taught, like, I would call Ron and say, hey, Ron, I could tell you Ron's number right now. 416-699-2900. Okay. That's Ron's number. All yeah. right. I used to call him all the time and he would give me so much information about everything. We used to talk for like hours on the phone. It was just, I guess, as we grow and we become let me ask you this. Certain did, things didn't work out. Did you do fully loaded for him? I said that, yeah, we did fully loaded in yes. two thousand and four, I think it was in two thousand. We did, I think, probably two fully loaded. Did something Three happened loaded. there with your sound in him. No, it was it happened, so okay. I'm just no, it has, no, it has nothing to do with that. It was something totally off there. And tell you the truth, it really has nothing to do with me. Oh, you know what I mean? Okay. But as I said, that's the first time I actually publicly spoke about this situation. Because yeah. yeah, I could have given you the, the political one. Well, um, yeah, Ron, I was thinking about Ron, but we've never got to know. The truth is what I just told you. We haven't spoken about 10, 12 yeah. years. You know what I mean? Okay. But it's all good. Ron. I'm going to get you out of here, so let me give you your intro, but yo, it's been an amazing conversation, my brother. All right? All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Muscle, and this has been another Two Line Music Cuts Entertainment Report podcast, and we are out. This podcast is brought to you by www.twolinedmusichut.com.